Hey guys, we're live from the Animal Rights 2016 National Conference. This is Sunday, and the reason I have the camera pointing at this guy is because I just got here, and it, we're in the lobby, and I was like, dude, I love your t-shirt. Can you just show these guys? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Enjoy kale. Awesome. So I thought, and that plus the name talk tag, I thought, ooh, an animal rights comrade. So sat down to have my coffee. We got to talking. And what did we start talking about? Do you remember, Adam? We were talking about the documentaries and then oh, yeah. you know, people making lifestyle changes as a result of the impact that they see on TV and, and the environment. That's that. right. And, uh, and then I, I told you that you know I was one of those people that uh, you know, I'm a seventh generation Texan. I ate you know meat my whole life and, and until I had a health scare, and then I decided to change. And, and the health scare was <clears throat> four years ago. I was. 320 pounds. I was a I was a drug addict, and I checked into rehab, and they diagnosed me in rehab as a type 2 diabetic with high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Put me on antidepressants, mood stabilizers, sleeping medication, ADHD medication, blood sugar medication, blood pressure medication. <laughs> I mean, you name it, I was on it. And I had the good fortune of attending Rip Esselstyn's Engine 2 immersion about a year prior, which is a, a whole food plant-based immersion to mm -hmm. teach you how to take charge of your life. And I said to myself, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that day one. And in three months, my type 2 diabetes was gone. In 10 months, I was down 100 pounds. And in a year, I was off of all seven medications I was prescribed in rehab, including the antidepressants, the mood stabilizers, the ADHD medication, wow. the sleeping medication. As of today, I'm down 150 pounds. I'm a plant-based nutritionist who teaches plant-based nutrition to drug addicts in recovery. Of course you are. And uh, right on. my twin brother, who's over here, Oh, hey twin brother. Yeah, he, moved, he moved into my place uh, in January. Yeah. And for the purpose of going plant based for his health. And in four months, he lost 50 pounds and he's no longer type 2 diabetic. Oh, wow. What's your name, brother? I'm Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. Nice to meet you. You're also a seventh generation Texan? I am, yeah. So you guys have had a little meat in your day. Yeah. <laughs> and I was a fast food addict along with the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah, tell me about your eating history. So I was. It's a, not like you just sort of had a little like uh, a little change of life. No, Stop. no. I was uh, along with my my drug addiction. I was a fast food addict. So I was eating four to five McDonald's double cheeseburgers a day. Mm -hmm. uh, grew up in Texas, so I ate barbecue all the time. Yep. Tacos were like a staple food. Mm -hmm. um, and they weren't veggie tacos. No, they weren't veggie tacos. <laughs> And, you know, I was also one of those people that believed I was an environmentalist and believed I loved animals. And I grew up with dogs and I would hug my animals and say I loved them. And then, you know, at the same time, be eating, you know, chicken and burgers and, 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 and the whole nine yards. And, you know, it's such a liberating thing to, because you can go vegan for any reason. And I went, I went plant-based for the health issue. And at a, first. At first. And as a result, it's opened me up to this whole world of compassion. Mm. And I can... I can look at an animal and not feel guilty and know that with with the simple change on my fork, it's made the most profound change in my life. And, Isn't it true? And it, and it also makes a profound change to the environment around you, the people that I interact with, uh, the way that I can impact the world, the way yes. I can impact my family. And, uh, you know, it's just it's changed everything. That's terrific, Adam. And Bobby, um, what's it like? So you went, so how long were you not a vegan while your brother was? Um, three, and a half, three and a half years, yeah. Uh, okay, and what was that like to to have that experience? Was Were you resistant? Were you proud of him? Combination well, yeah, of things? Yeah, I was proud of him. Um, I was resistant to it at first because I just... Uh, I thought it was just a, a a new addiction for him that wasn't his drug addiction. Right. Yeah. You thought he was substituting yeah. this fanaticism. Let me get, let me make one yeah. thing clear. If oh. you think I'm any less addicted to being a vegan than I am my drugs, you're fooling yourself. Awesome. I you know when I have my epic salads that I make in front of me, there's a real like Pavlovian response. I start like salivating and I just can't wait to chat out. Yes. But the great thing is, and we that, love you for is it. That this addiction is constructive. It's yes. not destructive. It enriches my life and, and the world around me instead of destroying my life and the world around me. That's powerful. Yeah. Very relatable because I, I experience the same and I know a lot of people yeah. do. So Bobby, yeah, you were saying that at first you were like, oh yeah, well he's just substituting uh, the veganism extremism for drug addiction. Yeah. 
Okay, and then and then what else was going on for you? Well, uh, I'm an environmental filmmaker. You're an environmental filmmaker. Yes. Okay, uh, keep and, going. And I was at the time I had I was finishing up school mm -hmm. and uh, I was mainly making environmental short films. And so I would go, and they would be an environmental film festival. Yes. And so. I Which he won the Emerging Filmmaker Award for his most recent one at the uh, National Geographic Grace Reel, Grace Reef Film Festival. Wow, terrific! What's the name of the film, Bobby? It's called We Easily Forget. We Easily Forget, and and what's the the quick gist of what it? What the film? It was filming wildlife in the freshwater wetlands of Georgia, which could be destroyed by dredging the Florida savannah. It has, it has a great soul to it. It's very in the in the in the vein of Terrence Malick, very poetic and a, and a true expression of his connection to nature. Oh, that's fantastic! So uh, uh, we easily forget by Bobby. What is it? Sud. 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 S U S U D. S U D. Yeah. So so go ahead, Bobby. Um, so you were environmental environmentalist filmmaker, and here you were, you know, chowing down mm -hmm. and really super overweight. Yeah. You've lost 50 pounds so far, right? Uh, yes. Because about three months ago, you, uh, you've allowed your brother's influence to... Yeah, yeah. about five months as about, of now. About yeah. five months? Yeah. And, uh, and so go ahead. So, you were, so at first you thought it was Adam was just transferring his, addict, his addictive personality. You were an environmental filmmaker. I was, yeah, I was just making excuses because I didn't, want to, I didn't want to put in the effort to be vegan right. at first. But then I'm, I'm sitting at a film festival and I'm watching my film on screen. And I'm looking around, and the audience is all environmentalists. Yes. They're all either environmental filmmakers or environmentalists. So, because I don't, I don't make films like Cowspiracy, big films that reach a wide audience. Right. My, my films are just preaching in the choir. I'm really not accomplishing much as far as spreading the word of environmentalism by just making short films at film festivals. Right. By going vegan, I'm actually making a difference. In what way? Because every day I'm not eating meat. Uh, I'm helping uh, fight global warming, and uh, I'm helping ridding the world of cruelty. That's that's fantastic. And you're also living a compassionate life, which, which, which that energy changes every way, you, everything that you do, and, and impacts every action that you do. And what would you say to others? Because I know in the environmentalist movement, for the most part, they are none of that. They're not vegan, right. and uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's a pretty fascinating thing to notice. What would you say to those who are environmentalists, or whatever you want to say, very committed to climate change, but still eat animals. You know, I, I try not to, to be judgmental, mm -hmm. but at the same time, just you know, look at the facts. It, you know, if, if you are consuming animal products, you are contributing to the majority of the issue. You're, you're contributing to the majority of the issue. You are uh, com committing uh, you, you are contributing to the the large, very thing that you really yeah, want to tra to yeah, change. You're, uh, you're contributing to the largest right. problem that is that our planet is facing right now. Technically, you can't call yourself an environmentalist if you're part of that. Right, even if your heart's in it, even if, if your you're not showing and up. If your heart is in it, listen to your heart. Yes. Take the steps that are necessary because you are the kind of person that can make a real impact. If you're it's that so passionate, you're out there every day and you're filming, you're trying to make a change. Then just you know, listen to your heart, make that step. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, any anything else? Anything else you would say to? Um, uh, well, listen to your heart. Yeah. Well, I don't, and anything else you have to say, Bobby, about your own uh, journey right now at this point? Um, well, I'm, I'm not preaching that people should stop being environmental film uh, filmmakers. Uh huh. Uh, I'm just don't be afraid. I don't think he's with our group. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> you do your thing. Don't be afraid of, uh, of something that's challenging. You know, uh, I think what keeps a lot of people from going vegan when they say they can't is because it, it isn't easy. Yeah. It, it's not as hard as they think, but it isn't easy. But you know, lifestyle change is easy. But if, if you if, if you want something, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to improve your health, if it's not challenging, it's not going to change you. That's right, and I would, I, I always, there's a saying, um, it's not difficult, it's just different. That's right. And yeah. I'm actually a new vegan, I've only been vegan four months, and I'm in, I'm in it to win yeah. it, I'm in, I'm in the club forever. Yeah, I would say, if you're not going to commit to 30 days, yes. you know, at least commit to 30 days. I'm not going to say don't try it, but, yeah. but commit to 30 days, give yourself the opportunity to see how it can change your life, because one week, you know, that's... 
mean, that's enough to sort of see whether or not you can do it. But yeah. Give yourself and the opportunity. There's actually, I met some uh, some folks yesterday at the exhibit who are uh, setting up through, I think it's Vegan Lifestyle Magazine yeah. World Challenge, uh, Vegan Challenge Month or something. Veganuary. Yeah. We might just well, there's them. Veganuary, but yeah. then, right, then there's also this August. It's going to be oh, okay. a 30 day World Challenge Vegan. Yeah. And what I wanted to say about myself is that. Um, uh, it, it's that um, it's not difficult for me to eat vegan and I if you had told me less than a year ago if you had told me eight months ago that I was going to be vegan I would have told you you are out of your mind yeah, I, and so what I wanted to just say about that is that given that I never thought I could even go a day without dairy it's not hard at all what's hard for me is when I'm out in the world and like 99% of the population isn't yeah. That's my challenge, and I'm up for it. I'm, you know, that's that's the least I can do for the animals because they're in a much bigger, it's, it's, horrific it's challenge. Yeah. yeah. Any last words, guys? Because this has been really terrific. Uh, you know, my thing is that uh, any kind of lifestyle change, you got to be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's the way you do it. Right on. And that, honestly, the most profound medicine I've ever come across has been what's on my fork. And the smallest change on your fork can be the biggest change in your life. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, thank you both, and uh, keep doing what you're doing because uh, it's really making a difference. Thank you. These are Texas. These are Texas boys and seventh generation Texans. Welcome. Yep, and uh, they're now they're now really. I, you guys are happy. You look oh, really like happy fantastic. vegans. Yeah, very happy vegans. Take care, guys. Thank you.